Hey everyone, welcome to another math video here on Trades Tutor. Uh, we're going to be going through transposing an equation today. So let's get started. First thing we want to look at is kind of what, what we're talking about here. And here's an equation, A over B is equal to C over D. And what we want to be able to do is move the variables around so that the math stays the same. We don't change things, but we might change the look of the equation itself. So you might go and move everything around and it ends up looking like this. But the math is all good. The first equation and the second equation all work out. And for our purposes, what we really want to try to get to or what we're really trying to find is to solve for one variable. So in all your equations in your, in your, um, in your trade, say the, an area formula or a volume formula, you might not be solving for area or volume, but you might be solving for one of the variables in that and you have to isolate it. So for instance, for us, maybe we want to solve for B and we have to end up isolating that variable. Now the math that goes along with this is something called reciprocals. And that's the actual process that whereby we move the variables around. So and it, wh what a reciprocal is is this is if you take any two numbers together and or sorry any two numbers and multiply them together the product of those two numbers is one so an example is if we take the number four and we can make it so that it's four over one that means the same thing and we're going to multiply it by something it's reciprocal to end us end up with one and what is that number well if we multiplied it by 1 over 4, there you go. We get 4 over 4, which is equal to 1. So in the end of the day, 4 over 1 and 1 over 4 are termed reciprocals. Now, why this is important? Because if we want to kind of get a variable out of one side, we can do that by multiplying by its reciprocal to end up with 1, and then effectively we've removed it from one side. Now, let's go back to our equation and solve for B. So what do we do? We need to get A out of there. Well, if we multiplied by its reciprocal, or in this case, A over 1, because really we can say it's 1 over A times A over 1, well, those will cancel out. Now, that sounds easy, but the whole thing about transposing equations is what you do to one side you have to do to the other. So, there you go. We multiplied one side by a over one. We have to multiply the other side by a over one. That keeps it mathematically the same. We've caused no issues and we haven't changed anything. And in this case, what we do is exactly what we want. We have gotten rid of the a. Those two cancel out. So what we end up with is B equal, and now we just work out the right, the left side of the equation, A times D over C. And there you go. We've solved for B. So we've taken an equation, isolated one variable, and that's the one we want to solve for. So let's try another example. X over Y is equal to F over G, and in this case what we'll do is we'll solve for Y. This poses another problem, because y is down in the denominator. And in order for this to work, what we want to get is y and move it up to the numerator. So this is going to take a couple of steps. The first step is getting y out of there, getting y out of the numerator. And what we do is, like we've always done, multiply by its reciprocal. Now this seems weird, because you can see that in the end, the y's are going to cancel out, and then the y is gone. But through transposing, what you do to one side, you do to the other. So the other side also is multiplied by y over 1. Now, when we cancel the y's, we still have a y on the right-hand side. And it's in the numerator, so we're good. x over 1, and then we multiply all the right side. And we can just leave it as it is, because it'll be easier to work with as we continue on. So we're kind of halfway there now. 
solve for y. So what we want is we need to get the f and the g out of there. We can't just, like I said, move them wherever we want. We've got to do it mathematically by multiplying each of those by the reciprocals. So that would look something like this. And they'll all cancel out in the end. But we got to do it to the other side. Now we got a lot of stuff going on here, but a lot of it's going to get canceled out. In the end of the day, the F's cancel out, the G's cancel out, and we're left with just Y on that side when you multiplied everything together. So Y equals, and then on the left side, just multiply them all together. We'll get G times X over F. And there you have it. You've solved for Y. You've transposed that equation. So I hope this helps you guys. Uh, check out some more of the videos on Trades Tutor. If you have any ideas of what you want me to put on there, let me know. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and take care.